I'm Julie Sterner and I'm excited to bring you another one of my recipes. Today we're going to be doing spicy smoky roasted garbanzo beans and also Italian style roasted garbanzo beans. So we're, I want to talk to you a little bit about using dried beans. I know a lot of people are like, what do I do with those? So I, I definitely recommend using the dried garbanzo beans or, or any dried beans. They're much less expensive and you can get them in organics in the bulk section of your grocery stores or you can buy them in packages you can even buy a mail order if you're in an area you can't get organics so what you want to do is put them out on a kitchen towel look for any unusually shaped ones or just little stones sometimes appear and pick those out we don't want those so then we're going to take this towel and just roll it up pour it into a pot and fill with water. You want to you want to soak it overnight or all day when you're at work in the water, just at room temperature. And then when you get home or you get up in the morning, you want to pour that water off. Add fresh new water up to the top. Bring it to a boil and simmer it for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the bean. You want to taste it for tenderness. And then you just rinse that water off, and you can use them to top salads or in this recipe. So what we're going to do is take our soaked and cooked beans and we're going to top them with our seasonings. We're going to preheat the oven to about 375. And I'm using the juice of half a lemon. This is for the Italian style. And this is an Italian spice blend, a, a, about a tablespoon of dried herbs. We have rosemary in here, oregano and basil. We're going to toss that up. And then two tablespoons of chopped fresh organic parsley. I'm a big fan of herbs. I try to get them in everything. They're wonderful for our bodies. They help cleanse our blood. And they add excellent seasoning and flavor. If you must, you can add about a, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt. Let's go with that. Season these up. And then what we're going to do is put these on a baking sheet. And spread them out so they have room to dehydrate. These are going to turn into like little dried croutons. They're awesome. You can top salads with them, eat them as a snack. Some people Eat them while you're eating, watching a movie instead of popcorn. Um, my favorite way to enjoy them is on top of a salad. They add a lot of protein, seven, seven grams of fiber per serving. There's eight grams of protein per serving. Iron and calcium, it's a wonderful thing to add to your diet. Eat more beans. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare the other ones. This recipe includes two tablespoons of fresh cilantro. Another herb I try to incorporate all the time. The juice, half a lemon as well. If you don't have a lemon, you can still make this when you um, rinse the beans if you buy canned or when they're refrigerated or just soaked and cooked. They still have moisture on them, so you don't have to add the lemon. This is a half a teaspoon of, I'm sorry, a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin, quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika, quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and this one is um, a smoked chipotle cayenne pepper that'll give it some heat. I'm going to toss this up and do the same. Put these into the oven. Okay, now we'll get these into the oven. Okay, I took these out of the oven about a half an hour ago, let them cool down. They're nice and crispy. They baked for about an hour and five minutes. So you want to bake them so that they're crisp, but not so hard that you're going to break your teeth or burn them. So I like to save jars from things that, sauces or salsa, and then um, recycle them by storing things like my roasted garbanzo beans in them. 
You want to keep these refrigerated to keep them fresh and ready to top your salads or to snack on. So I use parchment paper to line the pans not only for easy cleanup, but also to transport them into jars. I can't wait to try these. My house smells so fragrant with all these herbs that have been roasting. So good. Oh, you've been waiting. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something new today. Visit plantpurity.com if you need any help transitioning to a plant-based diet or cleaning up your current plant-based diet. And remember, optimum health will be owned by those who eat an abundance of plants. So eat your fruits and veggies, take care, and best of health.